In a world where everyone wants to get rich, you and I need to have a conversation about getting wealthy. Being wealthy means having money for the rest of your life, having money for the next several generations. Like no matter how hard you try to outspend that money, you're not gonna be able to because it's gonna keep replenishing itself. This quest is ultimately gonna give you the freedom to do whatever you wanna do, whenever you wanna do it, without being tied down to any specific location or being told what to do in a job that you don't even want. It may sound like it's butterflies and rainbows. It might even come across as some fantasy that only a select few lucky people ever achieve in their lifetime. But I'm here to tell you, you can build wealth and it has nothing to do with luck. As a matter of fact, I put together this video to show you that even though building wealth isn't easy, there are four simple habits that you can start doing today that can help you build wealth in the future. So you can do all the things you daydream about doing when you're at work. Hey, what's up? My name is Reggie Bryans and this channel is all about personal finance and personal growth where I show you how to save money and make more money all while bettering yourself every single day so you can live life on your own terms. Let's get into this video. One thing that differentiates the wealthy from everyone else is the way they think about the future. They're always planning ahead almost as if they can see into the future. And based off of that plan, they can anticipate the results and then make adjustments accordingly. And after going through these past five years, having mentor after mentor just engrave this process of thinking into my head, eventually I adopted it. Here's the thing. You won't be able to build wealth if you're not earning money in the first place. So this is something I started doing since day one. It's a super simple exercise where you plan out how much money you want to be making years out from now. And the whole purpose behind this is making sure that your money doesn't get stagnant throughout the years because complacency and wealth do not mix. There is one caveat though. You actually need to have a plan to back up how you're going to make those types of numbers. Like, you can't just expect to go from $50,000 a year to $100,000 in the next five years without having some type of plan of getting there. I mean, I used to try to plan things that way, but it just didn't get me very far. And then I had the nerve to wonder why I wasn't getting anywhere. <laughs> so let me give you a quick example, bro. So when I was 21, that was when I pretty much first got started with wanting to build wealth and everything. I started off with a pretty good job. I was making about $65,000 a year at the time. And my goal at that point was to make $100,000 or more within my first five years of working. If you aren't sure where to start with your goals, don't feel bad because I didn't either. I literally just chose the first generic number that sounded good and I went with that. So I wrote that on a sheet of paper and then I just kind of stared at it for a few seconds. And then eventually I put it away and then I went on about the rest of my day thinking about ways that I was going to get there. So later that afternoon, I figured it out, but I didn't have that sheet of paper on me, so I had to improvise. So I pulled my phone out and typed it in real quick and I'm, I'm actually about to show it to you. I made this note in my phone called work goals and it has the exact path I was going to take to get to that $100,000 salary within the first five years. And just start off simple, like getting used to the job, improving, and then that would lead to the first promotion, which would then lead to the next promotion after I coach and mentor a few people. So as you can see, I had a pretty solid plan as to how to get there. That's pretty general for how you would move up in you know any company anyways. And just so you know, I want y'all to check this date out right here. August 11th, 2017 crazy for one i didn't just reach my goal i surpassed it in terms of money and two i did it quicker than i planned to do it had i not created that plan i might have just been content with seeing my salary go from sixty-five thousand dollars a year to eighty-five thousand dollars a year in those five years and those are still good numbers but i want you to understand something building wealth means so much more than just doing well i wanted to do the best that i could possibly do you know what i mean with that come something very ironic. That was not the best I could do because at the time of me creating that plan, my mind was close to only one stream of income, which meant that I was only focused on one way of achieving my goal. And if those promotions never came my way, that would mean that my one chance of reaching my salary goal would be gone. So the simple habit you can start doing on a daily basis so you don't make the same mistake I did is slowly building your skill set outside of work. I know that might sound like it's a lot of work, but it's really not if you're slowly building that skill set. Like if you only spend, say, 30 minutes to an hour a day working on that, it's not going to take up too much of your time and it won't be so bad. The reason this is important is because what you learn from building that unique skill set can be monetized without you having to rely on work to pay you for it. And I can tell you from experience, 
Having that extra money that you're not having to rely on work to pay you does something drastic for your personal finances and your self-esteem. And of course, your boy has some examples. Something I have to do a lot at work is writing. It's literally something I do every day, so I've gotten very good at it, and I find myself writing every single day, even outside of work. Whether I'm just writing relatable stories or planning out a YouTube video, I'm monetizing from that outside of work. Same thing goes for learning how to talk in front of a camera. Like, that used to be an extremely uncomfortable experience for me, so I actually started on my cell phone making those 60-second clips on Snapchat that I thought no one would ever see. Then I saw that those little one-minute videos I was making actually had some sort of impact because people were hitting me up on Snapchat and on Facebook saying, Hey, Rich, I felt that, man. That gave me that initial boost I needed to keep going despite how awkward I felt being on camera. Fast forward to today, my YouTube channel is monetized. It could even be something you're talented at. Like for me, all throughout high school and college, I played on the drum line. So I figured out a way to monetize that. And something else I've been practicing for the past three years is coaching and mentoring people to advance in their careers. So my website that I'm about to launch at the end of the month is going to have a coaching option to help you get to where you want to be financially. See, these skill sets are much more than just the skills, also building the people skills and understanding what it is that people want. And when you combine those two things, then you give people what they want. That's why I made that video where I had a CEO come on this channel and explain about side hustles and what it really means to build that skill set. So you can actually go check that video out after this if you want to. So fast forward to today, and I've reached that income goal I set four years ago. So even though I'm a couple years ahead, I'm not gonna just stop there. I'm gonna keep setting higher and higher goals. In addition to that, I'm making consistent passive income from a set of skills that I started building years ago. Now I'm using the same exact method to build on top of that and scale up my income while also helping others. Now what I'm about to say is actually the simplest habit of all four of these to build wealth. The only problem is no one really thinks to do it though. I even had some preliminary coaching calls at the beginning of the year just to test it out, and I don't think a single one that I had on a coaching call has done this yet. Setting up automations. Your bank accounts have this option, but it just doesn't get used that often, and I'm not sure why. Anyway, this is one of those habits that you really only need to do once a year, if that. And all you really have to do is think of an amount of money that you want to save every month to build up a decent-sized nest egg just in case something happens. Just keep in mind, this number is gonna be subjective. Everyone has a different situation. There might not even be a number that you can think of right now, so you might just wanna keep adding on to it indefinitely, and that's cool too. For me, the amount that comes to mind is about a year's worth of expenses. But based on whatever number you come up with, you simply just figure out how much you wanna send a month over to your savings account, and then you, you just don't touch it. And the key here is you can set up a consistent date that happens every single month same exact pattern, same exact day, same exact time, so that way you don't have to worry about forgetting. Think about it. This is a habit you only need to do one time, but it can save you so much money without you even really doing anything because it's automated. Before I started using automations, which trust me, it was pretty recently, do you know how many times I forgot to transfer money over? Matter of fact, do you know how many times I told myself, nah, I'll do it tomorrow, I'll do it next week, I'll do it next month, then nothing got saved. Look, I'm telling you, bro, this is a game changer. But you know what changes the game even more? Having your savings in a separate account. So this is how I do it. On the 15th of every month, I have money that's set to go from my bank account over to my digital savings account. See, for me, I use Marcus by Goldman Sachs because for one, it's separate. Two, is if I wanted to transfer from over there to my bank account, it would take days, so I'm less tempted to even pull from there. And three, is considered to be a high-yield savings account, so you actually gain a little bit more just by having your money in that account. But anyway, that's just a pro tip so you're not tempted to pull from your savings and put it into your checking account because it's easy to do that when they're in the same exact account. But I noticed if it's separated, it's out of sight, out of mind. So in addition to having savings automations, the same can be said for investing in the stock market. Now I have videos on investing and the mindset behind it, so I won't go too much into detail here, but to keep it simple, you would essentially do the same thing that I just talked about with the savings account, but the difference would be instead of linking it with your savings account, you would link your bank account with your brokerage account. So by the way, everything I mentioned is going to be linked in the description, but for me, I use M1 Finance for my Roth IRA and I use Weeble for my individual stocks. When I first got started, I was doing $200 a month and then I worked my way up to a thousand and then so on and so forth. So just remember, however much you can do without messing up the rest of your personal finances is a good amount. And for some people, that's $100. For some, that's a thousand or more.
Just depends. The reason this habit builds wealth is because it can grow your money exponentially faster than just putting it in a savings account. And the more time you have in the market with good, well thought out investments, the more you're going to see that money compound and grow more and more over time. And if you invest consistently, the more time you have in the market with good, well thought out investments, the more you'll see that money compound and grow more and more over time. You just have to leave it alone. You can't sit there and get emotional when you see it go up and down, up and down. That's normal. Okay, don't touch it. Just leave it alone and let it do its thing. See, I'm getting too passionate about this. But anyway, in a perfect world, this would all be in addition to your 401k at work, which basically just means you have more buckets to choose from because most of us only use our 401k and that is the only thing we base our retirement off of. And that drastically limits your investment options and your earning potential. So that's why I recommend having all three of them. And if you're looking at this video like, Bruh, what are you talking about? Then go on ahead and watch my investment videos after this. Now this simple habit involves you spending money, but the one caveat with this is you don't necessarily see the results right away. You see them further along, but it has the power to pay you a lot more than the stock market will. And that simple habit is investing in yourself. This could be a few times a year, maybe once a quarter, whatever frequency that you can handle, I recommend it because this has a drastic opportunity to increase your income. And as you can see, a lot of building wealth has to do with increasing your income so you have more to invest, so you just keep getting more and more and more. That's really the pattern behind building wealth. So for a few examples, I invested in myself by getting these lights behind me or this camera that I'm filming on right now. These two things alone make my videos a lot more enjoyable to watch. This makes for much better thumbnails, which gets people to click on my videos more and watch them more, watch them longer. And it's overall brought more attention to my channel and it actually helped it get monetized quicker. I've also invested in stuff like coaching so I can improve my business skills, building authority on YouTube, and building a brand. Now all this stuff costed thousands of dollars, but I learned so much by actually taking the action to invest in these things that now they've paid for themselves multiple times over because of the money that I made by applying the knowledge I got from these investments. I didn't pay for everything at once though. I took everything in small chunks and I built my skill set slowly over time as I worked my demanding full-time job where I lead people. Building wealth is so important to me and so is helping people because I get fulfillment out of it. So combining both of them is extremely rewarding. This may seem like a lot, but it really is simple. The application isn't easy though. It does require work, but here's the thing, bro. If having more money than you could ever spend was easy, wouldn't we all be wealthy? Anyway, that's the video for today. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Reggie Bryant, and this channel is all about personal finance and personal growth so you can control you, control your finances, and control your life. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe. Don't forget to share this video. Tell a friend about it. I will see you in the next video. Stay cold.